Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Imaging Edge Desktop for Mac. This is the Sony application which allows you to manage raw files, perform remote shooting, etc. Here we're going to be connecting it with my Sony a7 IV and showing you how to install this today. So basically, we're going to leave a link in the description for this website, imagingedge.sony.net forward slash en dash gb forward slash ie dash desktop html. So this is the location. I'll leave this at the top of the video description. And once we get here, we'll be met with two download options. Today I'm going to be installing the Mac version. So I'm going to click on this button here, which says download Mac. And then this is going to download this DMG file. So I'm going to minimize this. So next we're going to need to go into Finder and then we need to go to our downloads folder. And then we have this new DMG file, IED DMG. So double click on this and it's going to mount the DMG. And then we have this PKG installer. So just go ahead and double click on this. And then it's going to go through the whole process of installing Image Edge Desktop. Press continue and then press install. Now type in your administrator password. So that's the password that you log into your computer with and then press install software. And then that's going ahead and installed. So now press close and then press keep and close this. And then we're going to navigate to our applications folder. It's going to put this and then within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find imaging and we have this purple icon here, IEDT. So we're here we're going to double click. And then this is going to ask us whether we want to agree to the terms and conditions, press agree and proceed. And we need to agree to the privacy policy, press confirm. And now Imaging Edge has basically installed and now we can scroll down and press start the application. So on the right here, we can close these things down. We don't need to know about the notifications. And then in order to use any of the remote viewer edit functions, we need to press the download button. So I'm going to download here and then I'm going to download the second part of the application. So this might take a bit of time, just wait for that to finish. And now we have this second DMG, which is mounted and we have this other PKG. If you can't find it, then just hold down on Finder and then show a new Finder window and then you find it mounted here. So just go ahead and double click on this PKG file and then this is going to install the Imaging Edge Desktop Remote Viewer Editor. Press continue and then install and then type in your administrator password again, press install software and then this is now configuring and installing. Once that's complete, press close, then press keep. And I'm going to close this down. And basically, we now have the ability to do all of this remote shooting, etc. So basically, under home, I'm going to press the start button on remote. And then it, here we're going to press agree and proceed. Press confirm again. Here we're going to press start the application. And here, and under here, I've got the remote option here. What I'm going to do is to connect my camera via USB C, which I've just plugged in. So here's my application with the remote. And I've got my cable plugged in via USB C to my Sony A7 IV. And then I've got my remote monitor here. And basically we're gonna go and select the menu, remote shoot, PC remote. So just select this. And then here, and then under my Mac, you can see here is saying, do we want to connect our Sony camera? Press allow. And now that this device is connected, we're gonna press refresh. And then we can see our camera is now connected. And I could double click on it. And now I can see myself on camera. So this camera is fully working. Just going to move my camera so you can see a bit clearer. And anyway, this is how you basically tether your Mac to your Sony S7 IV or any other kind of Sony camera that supports this software. There are a bunch of other features that you can use on this remote shooting, browsing the files actually on the camera itself, etc. But this is basically how you get started on this piece of software. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.